Hi guys, it's Marty here from the AMCA. Did you know that in the commercial air conditioning industry, one of the most common types of accidents occurs around the eyes? Even though your company may have spent thousands or even millions of dollars just to make sure you're safe and protected while you work. Look, an accident is an accident, but often it's because we are not prepared as much as we should be. And often this is because we really don't think anything is going to happen to us. It seems that when it comes down to eye safety, it's easy to assume that we won't get hurt and that we're like Superman or something. Think about it, we've always been warned about the importance of eye safety, whether we're in the sun, on the road, sitting too close to the television, or squinting while at the computer. This isn't going to do your eyes much good either. The eye is an amazingly complex, delicate and sensitive body organ. I remember just being absolutely mesmerised by my son when I had my first newborn. Man, I was just blown away by the fact that he had brand new eyes. As I've got older, my eyes have got blurrier. And after a long day at work, I find my eyes are always red from tiredness and just the stress of it all. Have you noticed in some older people, their eyes start to turn to shades of yellow and grey? Eventually, they just won't work anymore. The eye collects vital information about the world you live in, including the job you do, sending the information to your brain, where the information is processed, creating all the images you see. The eyeball is a slightly bulging sphere set inside the skull, held in place by muscles that enable the eye to move around. Although the eye has a tough coating, it is still very soft and full of fluid. When light passes through the pupil, the light sensitive cells of the retina send nerve impulses along the optic nerve to the brain. So the eye is very delicate compared to our tough exterior skin. It's very soft and squishy. Mm. In recent years, eye injuries have increased alarmingly, causing the AMCA to dedicate a full week promotion of eye safety amongst its members in 2009. And for large organisations like Hasty's to roll out a specific OHS strategy targeting eye safety for all its employees. I spoke to Alan Hatcher who instigated both of these programs. Alan, what led you to take this initiative? I was following the examination of statistics and uh, incidents relating to uh, eye injuries for the period uh, July through to December 2008, that uh, in that period we had doubled the incidence of eye injuries. And, uh, well, what did the statistics indicate to you? We found that uh, in further research that uh, up to 84% uh, were to do with uh, situations where people weren't wearing glasses at all and in some cases the um, PPE or personal protective equipment was inappropriate for the task and so on that being carried out. So in effect they should have been wearing goggles and uh, they were basically wearing glasses and that wasn't sufficient. Well, what were the main elements of your program and how, how was this program delivered? On, uh, within the group uh, was to um, use the AMCA Toolbox Talk as the uh, basic uh, element and then uh, added to that we developed a Wise About Eyes guide. And how successful was the program? Uh, we found that uh, 
The following months it was indicative of a marked reduction uh, in the incident. Optimus recently worked on a major construction site where the builders take a pretty strict stand on OHS, even when it came to eye protection. I spoke with the Optimus site manager on that project and asked why they take eye safety so seriously. Uh, for the past uh, 18 months uh, now uh, in the building industry, Optimus have taken a, um, a big uh, issue on safety with the uh, wearing of eyeglasses. No work, no induction without, uh, without safety glasses, which also prevents um, the loss of eyesight, as, as everybody knows, it's a silly item. But the thing is, it has to be proven. Statistics have proved over the years that uh, there's been uh, less uh, eye injuries, laceration to the eye, loss of eye, uh, hot works, permits, grinding, glassing. And uh, the thing is, with, uh, with the prevention of, of loss of eyesight, you can't drive. The other main reason is, the eye hospitals are few and far between. Uh, there's one over at Ryde, uh, towards Epping Way, the other one is, is the main one in the city centre. You want to come to work every day with two eyes and you want to go, to, go home with two eyes. It's as simple as that. It's easy to wear the correct PPE today. You don't have to wear the daggy glasses of yesterday. Because now, there is a complete range of safety glasses available which are really quite fashionable and trendy. I'm a model, you know what I mean And I do my little turn on the catwalk Yeah, on the catwalk, on the catwalk Yeah, I shake my little touch on the catwalk But most of all, they're practical. But it's important to remember that sometimes proper PPE might require you to wear safety glasses, other jobs might require you to wear safety goggles, and others require the full face mask. As we pointed out before, the eyes are very soft and delicate and they can be easily scratched by particles in the air. And there are plenty of particles floating around on construction sites. Some accidents have occurred simply by wiping sweat off the brow and scratching the eyes with particles on their sleeves or on other items of clothing. If you ever do have an accident, rubbing the eye or closing it might make things worse. So if anything does happen to you or a workmate, get help immediately and get to a doctor as soon as possible. Eye safety is serious. The following photos bring this home. Here we see an example of a foreign body entering an eye. Imagine what would happen if you were to scratch that. Here we have an example of a chemical burn. The eye is more sensitive to chemicals than the tough exterior of our skin. And here is an example of a man who has had his eye hit with a blunt instrument uh, simply by walking into something, perhaps in darkness. I want to show you possibly the worst eye accident ever. Brace yourself as the following scene is not really for the queasy. And if you have a weak stomach, I recommend that you sit down now. Amazingly, the person you are about to see survived this accident back in the year 1991. <laughs> See you next time on AMCA TV, but until then, take care of yourselves and your mates. Pause the video now to discuss these questions amongst yourselves.